In the same way that bats and whales use echolocation to locate prey or for navigation, the ultrasound uses high frequency sound waves to create images on a screen of inside the body. The main thing that we use this equipment for is to confirm whether mice needed for embryo studies are pregnant or not before they are used. If they are not pregnant, they can go back into stock to be remated with a new male at a later point. This is how we carry out an ultrasound scan on a mouse and demonstrates how quick the process is from scruff to release. We apply a harmless 70% ethanol solution to the belly to remove any possible air bubbles before then applying ultrasound gel, which is the same one that is used on humans and this is what allows sound waves to pass through the body. There are two scans that we carry out. For the first, the probe is placed horizontally to give a view of the pelvis, which is the W shape in the middle of the screen. We then turn the probe vertically to give us a spinal view. Once these are done, we wipe down the female as much as possible before placing her gently back into the cage. As you can see, the whole process from start to finish takes just over 50 seconds. Here you can see some examples of scans that we have done at different time points, starting from day six. On this video of a day 12 scan, you can clearly see the pup's heart beating. At day 15, the pup appears fully formed, and if you look closely, you may be able to make out its eye.